Sagittarius, welcome to your horoscope reading for the eclipse energy, the total full moon, total lunar eclipse in Taurus. Packs quite a punch for us all. This energy will be riding us out for the next six months or so. So this is a message for sun, moon, or rising in the sign of Sagittarius. These messages are general, so take what resonates for you and leave the rest. Try not to make a story if it's not resonating with you, meaning you're not feeling it throughout your body that, oh yeah, this is a message for me. Ice juice. <laughs> if you'd like a personal reading, you can book through my website. That information is in the description box below this video. Just click that upside down carrot or triangle below the video and there's a drop down box with all of my website information and other social media information. All right, Sagittarius. What's going on for you? I am reading this today is November 9th my birthday. Happy birthday to me. What's going on for you, Sagittarius? Hmm. We have meditation as the first card out, Sagittarius. And I'm also keep looking at this crystal that I have. Um, it's showing me the dust on it, Sag. Um, maybe there's something you need to dust off within yourself or life is starting to feel a little old and dusty. Last night I was actually getting visuals. I don't know if it was in a dream or not of mothballs, the smell of mothballs. Um, I don't know if this is resonating for anyone out there, but this is just, uh, releasing old, stale, stagnant energy. We'll keep going here. So quieting the mind, finding a way to still the mind, even for just five minutes so that you can get back into the body and you're not stuck in the thoughts, the, the loops of thoughts. Pulling yourself away from all distractions, just feeling your sensations, feeling your breath. Feel yourself in your body, Sagittarius. This is key to getting yourself back into alignment and not operating just totally from the mind, from the head. Very important for us all to practice on a daily basis. It doesn't mean it has to be any formal method of meditation. For myself, I typically go for a walk by myself out into the woods. Clears my mind right away, usually. If it doesn't, there are other techniques that I use, breathing techniques and focus techniques, crystals. There's so many modalities. It's not, meditation is not in a box. <laughs> it's whatever works for you. I'm Sagittarius. it's important to connect it's important to connect to that those aspects of yourself that um, may be trying to get your attention maybe uh, asking to be dusted off obedience we're going to get deeper into this Sagittarius, but I'm getting that um, you may be playing it a little too safe in life. You're in your search for balance and justice and truth. She's also blindfolded. So actually, she's not giving herself the ability to see the truth, which would bring 
life into balance and harmony. The truth within self. She's standing up on a pedestal. Let's keep going here. You may have boxed yourself in Sagittarius or, you know, are following too regimented, too strict of a regiment for yourself. Trying to be obedient in everything instead of just going and flowing with your feelings. Love. And differences at the bottom. Hmm. Very interesting. All right, Sag. Let's dive into this one for you. All right, what can we, uh, let's break it down. Let's start with meditation. You may be receiving some very vivid dreams right now or in your waking moments. Um, the ancestors, your ancestors are trying to reach you, give you messages. Meditation will help you receive them. Stop trying to be so regimented and you're still in your head when you're being so obedient. Open your heart to love. You'll feel it. You'll feel the messages come through. You are dealing with a lot of duality right now. The darkness, the light, the shadow, the light within yourself and others. Maybe being able to see both sides, see that even that there are two, there are differences, differences within color, differences within opinion, maybe even. The goal is to be able to understand and see the other side, the yin, the yang. Because we've all been there. We've all been in our shadow side we've all been in our light side and it's nice to come into a neutral alignment between the two to be able to see both sides of the same coin that's why we have all the experiences that we have in life that's why we experience the dark and the light within ourselves and within others and just within life in general it's important to become comfortable within our differences. If everything and everyone were the same in this world, life would be very boring and we wouldn't learn much at all. So taking time to really quiet the mind, still the mind, Feel your breath. It's going to allow you to see much more than what you're seeing now. All right, tell me about meditation, please. Very interesting, Saj. The energy today is way different than last night. Sagittarius. Thank you. Right. So when we actually get out of the mind trap with meditation, with quieting the mind, with just sitting with ourselves, even for five, ten minutes, longer is better, but if you can get there within five, ten minutes, you'll get at least something good for yourself. It will ignite a spark, your passion. Sacral chakra, your power, your strength, your true power and strength, not the ego. I know in a lot of spiritual practices, they speak of ego death and it's a metaphor. It's a uh, layer we shed. We can't really, the ego doesn't die. It's our personality, our persona. However, understanding it, taming it and, um, Perfecting it to be more authentic, and transparent, and true. The name of the game. 
for yourself and for your connections with others and with life in general. The ego is made up of many parts of consciousness that split off from our original natural state of consciousness when we're born. We have a lot of protector. The ego is also a big inner protector, as well as many other things. Um, rejoice in celebration with obedience. Yeah, Sagittarius. It's time to get out of your box. I feel like you are being too strict on yourself and you're not allowing yourself to actually enjoy life, flow with life. When you go out and have too much fun, you're, you're telling yourself, this isn't proper, this isn't the way I'm supposed to act. Yeah, it is. Have fun, laugh, have a drink. Do it um, responsibly, sure, but you don't need to be so strict on yourself. That's not going to get you anywhere, but self-sabotage, really. Uh, I feel like you're nitpicking yourself here. Negative self-talk, it, it can turn into, because nobody's perfect. And I feel like Sagittarius, you're still trying to like break some form of perfection. Love and the heart chakra. Yeah. Oh, and fertility at the bottom. So the heart chakra is opening. You're open to love. However, there are times when your rigidity, it's not telling me rigidity, but um, being too um, nitpicky. I just keep hearing nitpicky about yourself. It's really sabotaging this heart this um, love, the heart, like you want to keep your heart open to yourself. Give yourself this love as well. Let's dive a little deeper into this. Why does Sagittarius need to meditate? Why is meditation the first card out? Yes, they need to get their power, their energy ignited, their creative juices flowing, their happiness. That's where the passion lies, where your joy is. You following these strict rules that you impose on yourself, the, how much joy is that? Get out of the mind and you know you're trying to impress other people it seems like you're not even impressing yourself right now and really that's all you're working towards <laughs> at this moment king of cups yeah meditation to really get in touch with how you feel about things about life about certain things that may have you kind of stuck in this box of perfection Get in touch with how you feel about certain aspects of life or certain people where maybe your flame had kind of started to go out, where you started to feel powerlessness in life. This meditation, this practice of bringing yourself back to yourself and understanding and getting in touch with your feelings really truly is what, where the power lies within you. You have this energy, you have this flame within you. It's not up to anybody but you to keep it going. All right, Sag. Talk about obedience. I feel like you're battling with two different aspects of yourself, Sagittarius, where the one aspect does just want to only focus on the light-hearted, fun, joyful side of life, and then the other side is like, no, there's so much pain, there's so much suffering and struggling, and we have to stay very regimented, and there's something we're here to do, 
Yeah, I'm not sure what, because <laughs> I'm not having fun doing it. When you can see these two sides of the same coin within yourself, you can merge them together. Come into more of a harmonious balance within yourself. So you're not fighting yourself. Yeah, six of pentacles. So there's an equal give and take. There's an equal exchange within yourself and also within your connections to others. As within, so without. When you can find that balance within yourself of the, the aspect of you that is really wanting to just live on your passion, your joy, and then the other aspect who wants to be more responsible and logical, both may be in extremes right now, and it's time to kind of tame them both and bring them into a center, a balance where you can have both. You can have the light, you can have the dark, you can have the fun and the seriousness at the same time. Where one doesn't cancel out the other. And it all comes down to love. Self-love is important first and foremost, but keeping the heart open. <laughs> yeah, chariot. And when we have the heart open and we're focused on love, suddenly life ushers us forward into something brand new and beautiful. instead of bartering with life, instead of trying to be obedient, bargaining with life. Okay, I'll be, I'll be good if this can happen. Or, you know, it's, it's, that's not how it works, Sag. The world, you're coming to a completion of the cycle here. Um, let's get some oracle cards for you, Sag. This is a union of the energies within you, the masculine energy, the feminine energy, not gender, but energy, the masculine side of the brain, the logical side of the brain, the feminine side of the brain, the more receptive, intuitive side of the brain, bring those together, working together. So one doesn't steamroll the other, the one doesn't dominate the other. And that's where you're sort of in between right now, recognizing that in yourself. Don't be so hard on yourself. But yes, we do need to have structure. So find a way to find a happy medium there. It doesn't have to be so strict. Just make sure you're focused on taking care of the body, taking care of yourself, your home, whatever it is that you need to take care of, and then let the rest flow. Have fun with life, enjoy it. In this reading I'm getting, there's a part of you that really really loves to have fun and then there's another part of you that feels like shit when you're having fun like you feel guilty heron let go of convention and follow your own unique path sagittarius maybe you're comparing yourself or you're just being really hard on yourself maybe you had a parent that was really hard on you or really judgmental on you and that's a pattern that you want to take a look at um and let go of Life will be much less stressful and will make a lot more sense to you. Not hatch. Stay grounded and welcome the new knowledge and perspectives coming to you. Yeah. Get into the body, Sag. Get out of the mind. Meditate so that this wisdom, this knowledge, and new perspectives can really enlighten you. I'll get a card from Moonology to wrap this up for you.
like you're balancing your internal energies right now. And it does require a little bit of work on your part, meaning get into a, a meditative state, a, a meditative brainwave state where your mind is not running the show <laughs> for even five, ten minutes, longer if possible. Your hard work is paying off. And that is the work, Sag, is to tune in every now and then. Tune into the body. Tune into the senses. Tune into what's coming through for you. Connect to yourself and stop being so obedient. <laughs> I'm just getting perfectionist, and that's something you might want to let go of, Sag. Don't let pride get in your way. Yeah, there's something within your ego that isn't letting you completely rejoice and celebrate in the life in the celebration of life don't be so serious keep your heart open focus on love so these are the messages i have for you sagittarius if you like this video please click the like button and if you're not subscribed please subscribe this truly does help all content creators here on youtube and we all greatly appreciate it so take good care of yourself self-care is a necessity not a luxury bye